Hello, welcome. In this lecture, we are going to integrate Firebase for the vendors app. To do this, we are going to be using the same Firebase project in order to easily connect the data. Now to integrate Firebase, we have to click on Hard App and we want to integrate for Android. Click on it and it is asking for the Android package name and it says your package name is generally the application ID in your app level build.gradle file. Now to get the application ID, we have to go to our editor and then we have to go to Android and then app and within app, we have a, a file called build.gradle. And also make sure you are using the current Flutter version else yours might be a bit different from mine or you can just go ahead and use the previous way you know on how to integrate Firebase because currently I'm using the updated Flutter version and if you are using the previous you might not see most of the terms we will see in this lecture and over here we have the namespace but we are not interested in this but we are interested in the application id and what we can do is we can make it unique so instead of the example we can use our name and for me i'm going to use macaulay macaulay and famous and i will copy this and uh sorry i think i did not copy it I will copy and I will paste this okay and then we have to click on register app and waiting for this to get registered and then we have to download the google service.json file and let's go ahead and uh, place it where it wants and we have to go to download and uh okay waiting for okay now go ahead and cut this because it is only unique for this project and i will go to okay and vendor app only and we have to go to android then app then within the src and build it grid for a uh, folder and file we can then paste this okay and now we can go ahead and move on with our life Click on Nest and over here we have the Gotlin DSL and we also have Grove. Click on Grove and then we need to copy this. Copy this and it wants us to go to the project level build.gradle file. So let's go and this is the hub level build.gradle and this is the project uh, level build.gradle and we can go ahead and paste this over here but basically this is targeted towards gotlin so we have to rename this to say class part in order to suit our flutter needs and also we have to get rid of this get rid of this and uh hard this over here and the version is for dot for then dot zero okay this is it over here the version is currently for dot for the zero and uh, also we have the com dot google dot gmls then instead of dot this will be this okay so it will become google.gms this google.service this okay great now we can go ahead and move on with our lives and uh, over here it wants us to copy this default we already have this and it wants us to copy and paste this in the hub level build.gradle and let's go to the hub level and this is the hub level and scroll up and you can see we already have the com.android 
dot application like i said make sure you are using the updated or current flutter version if not yours will not look this way but if you are not using the uh, current flutter version you can go ahead and uh, integrate firebase the way you normally uh, know how to do it okay and we can go ahead now and paste this over here. and you can see we don't need this because we already have it over here okay and what we need next is to copy this okay copy this and scroll down and over here we have the dependencies okay we can go ahead and paste this okay and we really do not need uh, firebase analysis for this app and uh, we can go ahead and move on with our life but before then what we also need to do is to change the minimum sdk version to 23 okay and then after we can click on nest then go to console okay now what we have to do next is to initialize firebase to do this we have to go to the main dot dot and uh, over here we have to use the async because we are about to use the uh, we are about to call firebase and it will take some time to call firebase so we have to use the async because we will be using the await and first we want to make sure the widget are initialized so we can say widget flutter binding dot ensure initialized okay and after then we can say await and firebase firebase first what we have to do is we have to say platform platform dot is hundred if it is hundred then we then we want to call the uh if it is hundred then we want to say await and firebase firebase dot dot initialize app okay now within the initialize app there is a property known as options and this is going to take in firebase options okay and now it is asking for the api key to get the api key okay i think we have this error so what we can do is over here we can then add the else part else part we just want to call the firebase dot initialize app okay great and what we are saying is if it is android which we are currently in then we want to call this else we just want to initialize it without the api key uh, app id and over it is asking for the api key to get the api key we have to go to the google service.json file and this is it within the app level in the same folder with the src and the build.gradle file and over here we have the mobile sdk app id and this is it go ahead and copy the app id and uh, okay i think it was asking for the api key first okay we can go ahead and pass the api key now to get the api key we have to go to the google.service.json file and uh, this is the api key you can see current key and go ahead and copy this and paste this over here and next it is asking for the messaging sender id and go back to this and uh, it is the same as the project number that is the messaging id so copy it and go to this and paste this and lastly it is asking for the project id 
and uh, go to this and this is the via project ID is this you can see project ID and uh, copy and uh, paste okay and one more thing we need to pass is the storage bucket because we will be uploading uh, images to the storage so what we have to do is to get the location to it so go to storage and uh, waiting for this to load okay and copy this copy this okay click on this to copy and paste this over yeah okay some skew and use control s to save and this is basically all we need to do in order to integrate firebase and like i said this is the uh current updated way to integrate firebase and you may not see all this if you are still using the hold flutter version and currently i'm using the new uh, flutter version and that is why i'm able to see all this so make sure you are using the new version it is always recommended for you to use uh, the updated uh, version